हेलो माय चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल रॉय डिजिटल चिल्ड्रन टीचिंग सेंटर एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ न्यू पोएम इन यूनिट थ्री एंड दैट इज माय शैडो एंड दिस ब्यूटीफुल पोएम इज रिटन बाय रॉबर्ट लुइस स्टीवेंशन एंड द थीम ऑफ दिस पोएम इज इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग द अनोन येस दिस ब्यूटिफुल पोएम डिस्क्राइब्स दैट दिस शैडो इज लाइक अ ह्यूमन बींग and he goes out with us and follows us around even when the boy in this poem jumps in bed his shadow jumps with him there are many such interesting topics in this uh, poem let us read the poem first of all we discuss about a question and that is do you know whenever uh, there is uh, light someone follows you and uh, have you ever wondered who it is and we all know the answer that is our shadow okay let's start the poem i have a little shadow that goes in and out with me and what can be the use of him is more than i can see he is very very like me from the heels up to the head and i see him jump before me when i jump into bed the funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow not at all like proper children which is always very slow for he sometimes shoot up taller like an indian rubber ball and sometimes get so little that there's none of him at all One morning very early before the sun I was up I rose and found the shining dew on every buttercup but my lazy little shadow like an errant sleepy head had stayed at home behind me and was fast asleep in the bed okay here we finish this uh, beautiful poem and uh, we already discussed about it that robert louis stevenson is uh, the writer of this beautiful poem okay let's see the new words of this poem india rubber ball means a ball that can bounce very high buttercup means a yellow flower errant means bad a round sleepy head means completely inactive heels means the back part of the foot below ankle shoot up means grow taller rapidly stayed means remain in the same place next is asleep asleep means in a state of sleep next is funniest funniest means humorous next is grow grow means become larger over the time next is none of him at all it means invisible okay and then dew dew means the tiny drops of water that form in cool surface at night next is shining shining means reflecting bright light and next is lazy lazy means inactive after discussing the new words now we discuss about the summary okay the boy has a shadow that goes in and out with him and that is wherever he goes the shadow goes with him the boy sees more of the shadows uses than he knows first of all the shadow looks exactly like him from head to toe next when he goes to sleep in the bed he looks that the shadow has jumped before him The funniest thing about him is how he grows and shrink. He does not grow up in this way as normal children grow up slowly from childhood. Sometimes he suddenly becomes very tall like an Indian rubber ball and sometimes he becomes so small that he cannot be seen. One morning, very early in the morning, he woke up before the sunrise. He wakes up and uh, looks that shining dew drop on every buttercup but the lazy and very small shadow he has is an uh, ardent sleepy head so 
the lazy very small shadow stays behind him and uh, fell asleep in the bed at home okay here in this poem the poet want to imply that the child has risen before the sun rises and no shadow can be seen and this incident is beautifully presented in the poem shadow has become a character here and what are its merits or demerits are described here nicely and now we discuss about the ncert questions and our first topic is let's read okay let's see the first question the first question is who do you think your shadow looks like i think my shadow looks like me the next question is why do you think your shadow jumps into bed before you can my shadow jumps into bed before me because if the light is behind me my shadow is ahead of me next question is what time of the day do you think when your shadow is the tallest and why my shadow is the tallest in the morning due uh, to the slanting rays of the sun let's see the next question and uh, the next question is read the lines from the poem and answer the following okay let's read the lines he is very like me and uh, from the heels up to the head the question is who does he refer to he refers to the shadow next question is who does me refer to and uh, me refers to the poet or speaker in the poem next question is why are he and me alike he and me are alike because he is the shadow of me let's see the next topic and that is let's talk first question is work in pair and uh, discuss about the following so what would you do if a dog chase you okay here the dog chase the boy and uh, if a dog chases you then what you will do i would stay quiet and try to save myself from them and next question is if you have forgotten uh, your homework copy at home next i will confess the truth and uh, seek an apology from the teacher the next question is you are alone in a room and uh, the lights go out and uh, then i will try to search uh, for a torch or something that has light like a mobile phone until the power come back okay let's see the next topic and that is fun time and now shine a torch behind your hand and she it's a shadow on the wall and then you have to move the torch a little away from your hand and see the shadow on the wall and here you can see in this picture and now you have to find out the difference in the size of the hand on the wall and uh, yes there is a difference the size of the hand increases when i move the torch away from the hand let's see uh, the next topic and uh, that is working together now work in a group of 5 and uh, make a large hand on a plain sheet and uh, then you have to make a name of fingers thumbs and palms on the hand and use hints given in the box and uh, do the action as given below and observe which part of fingers on of your hand is being used okay point at door twist your ear touch a flower bounce a ball comb your hair scratch your chin draw with a pencil really it is a funny task let's see the next topic that is let's write and uh, the first question is fill in the blanks using one of the words given in the brackets let's see the questions where is the child whose parents have come to school next is i saw many houses which were quite uh, spacious now uh, mathematics uh, which is my favorite subject is so interesting the poem that you read out is so lovely next question is i know the street that uh, he lives on i like reading books that uh, have pictures in it and the next is uh, the old lady whom i met in your house is my neighbor okay let's see the next topic and that is complete this description by answering the question below okay here you can see the picture and now you have to answer according to it what do you think is the name of the dog 
I think uh, the name of the dog is Pablo. The next question is why is uh, she called that? Pablo is her favorite cartoon. So uh, we called uh, her Pablo. Next question is what uh, color is she? She is white and gray in color. Next is uh, do you think she is friendly? Yes, she is very friendly in nature. And uh, next question is uh, what does she like to eat? She likes uh, to eat fruits, vegetables, meat and bones. Let's see the next question and uh, that is write a few lines on me too and his dog named Shadow. Me too is my cousin and she has a dog named Shadow. The reason for giving such a name is that her skin color is as gray as shadow and she always followed my sister like a shadow. She is a very good dog and she doesn't hurt anyone and if someone cares her a little then she will not get off his lap. She loves to eat fruits, vegetables, biscuits more than fish and meat. Okay. Let's see uh, the next topic that is say aloud. Now uh, you have to say aloud some words like shoes, sheep, shell, shadow, sheep, shade, fish, dish, wish, bush, wash and brush. Okay. Next uh, there is a poem. Now read the poem aloud. When the sun shine, I can see my shadow right in front of me. When I walk, my shadow walks. When I hop, my shadow hops. When I jump, my shadow jumps. And when I stop, my shadow stops. And this beautiful poem is written by Louis Binder Scott. Okay. And uh, now act the poem as uh, you read it slowly. Okay. Now you have to do action according to the poem. Okay. Let's see the next topic. And uh, our last topic is text based question answer. Our first question is who is the poet of this poem and uh, the answer is our poet of this poem is Robert Louis Stevenson. Now you have to describe how the poet shows the shadow in this poem and the answer is here the poet presented uh, the shadow as a living character in this poem and uh, the poet describes its merit and demerits here nicely. Number one he looks exactly like me from head to toe and next when i go to sleep in the bed i see that he jumped before me and next he does not grow in the way as normal children grow in slowly from childhood sometimes he suddenly becomes very tall like an indian rubber ball and sometimes he becomes so small that he cannot be seen and uh, next is he is a rent sleepy head okay let's see the next question and that is how does he grow he doesn't grow up in this way as a normal child grow up slowly from the childhood right sometimes he suddenly becomes a very tall like an inner rubber ball and sometimes he becomes so small that he cannot be seen next question is when does the boy wake up from the bed and the boy wakes up early in the morning before the sunrise uh, next question is what does he look uh, in the morning and he looks shining dew drops on uh, every buttercup in the morning where was uh, the shadow at last and uh, what was he doing the answer is uh, the shadow actually he stayed behind the boy and sleep like an errant sleepy head in the bed at the home okay here we complete our video and uh, if there are any queries let me know in the whatsapp and our whatsapp number is 9035304154 okay and don't forget to like our facebook page that is rdctc roy digital children teaching center okay let's see the next chapter